Humble beginnings. Nobody has them anymore. Hey, did you get your invitation yet? Well, I checked my mail, but I haven't gotten it yet. No, it's it's not coming in the mail. It's coming by carrier pigeon. Carrier pigeon? Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, it's really important that you RSVP because it's black tie. Black tie? Where is this thing even going to be held? The Four Seasons, of course. Wow, that seems like a lot for a baby shower. It's not the baby shower. It's the gender reveal. All this for your gender... Not to be nosy or anything, but how the heck are you going to afford all of this? No, we got a loan. A loan? For a party? Yeah, but it's totally necessary. Oh, and also, is there any way that you can get lunch today? Because I'm a little bored. Humble beginnings. Nobody has them anymore. And are you missing out on something really important when you try to skip all that stuff? Hey there, I'm Andrea and this is the Bookstores Club and this is where you can find all things personal development. Today's featured book is Awakening Your Ikigai by Ken Mogi. Check out what this book has to say about awakening your ikigai. Crucially, starting small is the hallmark of youthful days. When you're young, you cannot start things in a big way. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter much to the world. You need to start small. And what you have in abundance is open-mindedness and curiosity, the Kickstarters devoted to one's cause. Children are always so inquisitive. You can see what the link is between curiosity and ikigai. Humble beginnings and starting small. It's something that we should all go through, no matter what it is. Whether it's you're starting your family, you're starting your business, you're you know setting out, starting your own life, buying your own house, all that good stuff. It's okay to start small because you know what starting small actually does for you. I legit don't know. It develops your ingenuity. There's a quote by Evan Carmichael that says, invest in your resourcefulness, not your resources. And I couldn't agree more. When you're young and you're starting off, you should be using ingenuity, this up here, to figure out exactly how you're gonna be able to take what you have, which is probably very little when you're starting out, and making it something else. I fixed it. I fixed it. Investing your resources in the beginning is a bad idea. You need to think outside of the box and not in the money box. Wow. Getting a loan for things should be your last resort when it comes to starting off new. Get creative, get curious, go to that thrift store, go to that yard sale, figure out what you can get that's secondhand, make it the best you can, learn how to clean it up, learn how to fix it up. Wow, a yard sale! Believe it or not, these skills do not leave you as you further yourself along in your journey of life. You're always going to need resourcefulness and you're always going to need to think outside of the box because more problems are going to get thrown your way. But if you've never learned to be resourceful and always leaned on resources, you're going to be flat broke. Starting small, no matter what it is that you're trying to accomplish right now, is a great rite of passage and it develops you for the next level in life that you're going to be experiencing. And so trying to skip out on that is really only going to hurt you. Embrace it. Breathe it in like a fresh cup of coffee on a brisk cold morning. <laughs> know that this is the best possible thing for you and it's developing this part of you that's going to serve you later on in the future. If you found any of this video useful and helpful, let me know by sharing some love with all of these fun buttons down here. Not the thumbs down though. Don't do the thumbs down. That one's not love. I mean, unless you didn't like it, then I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, if you liked it, don't do it. You can also let me know what you're very proud to start small at in the comments. And also go check me out on Instagram because I post stuff on there every single day. Until next time, see you later, booksters.